Hello students, here is the first question. Let's consider this. It says uh, there is a wooden bar. So this is a wooden bar. I'm explaining the figure. And its thickness has been given, which is D, 20 centimeter. And it is symmetrically placed. Uh, there is a hole. So with respect to hole, it is symmetrically. That's in both sides. It has equal lengths or areas if it is touching. And that's table. So mass of a bullet, so we fire a bullet from here, symmetrically. And the mass of the bullet has been given to us, 20 gram, that is short, ver short vertically up uh, through this hole. So this is hole, and this, wood, uh, this, this bullet basically pierces it, and comes out this side. So when it comes out, it carries velocity V, which is 80 meter per second. And while it was entering, it had velocity u, let's say that is u velocity, and this u is given as 100 meter per second. So it moves with velocity u and it uh, comes back with velocity v. And this velocity decreases uniformly, as the question says. Question demands for the value of mass of this bar, in fact, the least value of this mass m so that this block does not leave the tabletop. Gravity value is given to us as a 10. So we got to know what to find and what is given. So let's have a solution. Now when this bullet goes inside, so it will be experiencing resistance force that is causing the deacceleration. So resistance is going to be experienced in the downward direction. So this is a retardation basically. And this retardation is acting on the bullet. If you look at the bar, so bar will be experiencing a force in upward direction. So we can draw the free body diagram of the bar. So let's say this is a bar and this bar is going to experience a force in the upward direction. This force is going to cause the lifting of this bar if its mass is not significantly higher or uh, not higher from a particular value. What that particular value is, that is what we need to find out. So if we draw the complete free body diagram, then you'll find mg is going to act downside, mg is like mass of this bar and gravity. And this force is being applied by the bullet on this block. Getting the point? Now, there is going to be normal reaction as well. So if you look about this normal reaction, so this will be the situation when the block is placed on the tabletop. Now if you look uh, uh, at this FBD and uh, that's a free body diagram basically of bar. And if you make the equation for the third vertical force, so we must say N must be equal to uh, this Mg minus F. Then we will say for table uh, this ball to be on the table top this n should be uh, greater than or equal to zero it cannot be negative of course right so it should be greater than zero and for the limiting condition we can take the equality this will let us know that this mg should be greater than or equal to the force that is applied by the bullet furthermore we can say this mass must be greater than or equal to force divided by gravity now, this will let us know what should be the value of mass. So, it says mass should be greater than or equal to this value. So, the minimum value should be equal to this one. Now, we need to find what the force is going to be acting on this bar because of the bullet. Now, we have talked about the bullet is going to experience a retarding for, uh, acceleration or resistance or a force you can call in the downward direction. Since it is uniform, so we can apply the basic equation and we can find this A value. So, this A is going to be equal to, uh, you know, this is going to be U minus V divided by T. I am writing U minus V because we know this is a retardation, so direction has been taken care of. Or we can use any other equation that we find, uh, we, we know that D, so we can use a third equation of motion. So, let us use the third equation of motion. So, that equation will say V square is equal to U square minus twice A the distance d. So, from here we can find what the a is going to be. a is going to be equal to 
u square minus v square divided by twice d. This is the retarding uh, value of acceleration. And then we can say uh, if we multiply this by mass of the uh, bullet, that will be the force acting on the bullet. So we can say this F will have a magnitude is equal to m into a, which will become basically m times u square minus v square divided by twice d. Now we are interested in finding m value. So from here we can connect that m should be greater than or equal to f by g. So you just divide by g. So it's going to like m u square minus v square divided by 2 d into g. Now this is the expression. You can say this is our result. And then after you can put the values. So we can get the numerical value. So we can write it like m minimum. So minimum mass of bar should be like m is equal to small m. How much is small m is? So let's put the value. That's a 20 gram. And v u square that is 100 square minus v square which is 80 square divided by twice d. Uh, d has been given to us is 20 centimeter. Uh, so we are writing a, in SI unit except this mass. So uh, this should be written as 0 0.2 meter into g which is 10. When you uh, this answer is going to be in gram because we have used small m in gram. You know the calculations, right? So that's become four. So it's going to be right uh, 20 a square minus b square. You can't apply. So that's going to be 20 into 180 divided by and downside we are going to get as a 4. So you can say this is going to be 5 can after cancelling and this will become 100. So it is like going to be 18,000 gram, basically 18 kg. So that will become our final answer. Okay, understood. Thank you.